so sick of people getting bad advice. And one of the worst pieces of advice that I hear all the time is don't date a broke man. Wrong. It's not don't date a broke man. Don't date an uneducated man. For when he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. When he can't match your intellect, when he can't match you in conversation, when he can't really debate you, when he can't really offer much to a talk, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. His strength will show up in other places. And those places will be emotional or physical abuse or both. What's going on? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Not A Pookie Podcast right here on the Black Non-Democrat YouTube channel and Rumble channel as well. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video today as we will be having a great show for you guys today. And please make sure that you tap that like button if you're following me or seeing me for the very first time here on the channel. Um, it helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, share my video now you guys are watching not a pookie podcast right and a lot of people ask me why did i name this podcast not a pookie podcast what comes along with pookie and ray ray you guys laziness what comes along with pookie and ray ray you guys lack of masculinity what comes along with pookie and ray ray you guys broke neck what come along with Pookie and Ray Ray, you guys, an uneducated man and everything under that, you see? And we hear about these women talk about not wanting to date a broke dude, a lame, broke guy. Now, you can avoid all of these things if you understand what to look for in a man. I've been saying that for years. That's why I called it not a Pookie podcast, because I'm differentiating myself away from the pookie, the dude that ain't doing shit with his life, that understands, I understand that I don't want to be like that. I understand I don't want to be that guy. So I don't know how that guy got you pregnant because you obviously don't give a fuck. But when it happens to you, 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 you give some fucks because you go online and you say this and you say that and you say this about my baby daddy who ain't ish. Hmm. This young man right here and they're getting younger and younger because, you know, they're not getting picked. <laughs> they're not getting picked, baby. These young black men ain't getting picked when it's 70. I mean, I'm sorry, 52 percent of black males between the ages of 15 and 35 don't have children. How is this happening? But this young man is going to break something down that I've been saying for years. And, um. We're going we gonna, to we gonna hear some real shit today. Let's go. I'm so sick of people getting bad advice. And one of the worst pieces of advice that I hear all the time is don't date a broke man. Wrong. Wrong. It's not don't date a broke man. Don't date an uneducated man. For when he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. Let me say that again, because I need to jot that down. When he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. When he can't match your intellect, when he can't match you in conversation, when he can't really debate you, when he can't really offer much to a talk, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. His strength will show up in other places. And those places will be emotional or physical abuse or both. Am I lying? You need an educated man, for an educated man will know how to escape poverty. An educated man has an understanding of patriarchal system. An educated man understands feminism. And an educated man understands how to learn. When you deal with an uneducated man, you're dealing with a man who never had to be a student. You can't teach somebody who has never learned how to be taught. So he ain't going to give you no different, but broke. That's the only thing he could do different for you. But an educated man will get it. Especially for women, y'all are getting degrees at higher rates, which means you're escaping poverty at higher rates, which means you're making more money and it means you're intellectually superior. So if he's not beating you intellectually and financially, where else can he beat you at? Ooh. I think that went over y'all head. I was giving y'all the... I think that went over y'all head, though. If he's not beating you financially, which most black men aren't, most black men out here um, are dating women or the, their wives make way more money than them, you know? And it's a fact. But if it's not beating you or at your level 
financially, which that is okay, people. I, look, I'm from the school of it's okay. As long as you know how to manage your money, young man, don't ever, 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 ever let a woman making more money than you um, look, make you look at yourself as less than, okay? Please, please do that, okay? Um, and there's a lot of women out there who understands that. And shout out to those women who don't um, use that against any man. Especially the ones that they marry and date Okay um, Shout out to that woman Alright You have to match her somewhere though You know You have to stimulate something for her To keep going To motivate her To be on her level somewhere Intellectual baby Because money come and go But this right here Knowledge is Wealth I can lose everything I have as a stupid person. You see? As an uneducated person. As a person of ignorance and just out of the know. If I have a lot that was given to me and I lose it, I'm not going to be able to regain that. Like win the lottery or something. Or hit the number. I don't know. <laughs> Inheriting money or something. Something that I didn't get through my intelligence. That just got bestowed on me. Right? Right? That can roll out. I wouldn't know how to get it back. But a intellectual man, a man with knowledge, which knowledge is power and wealth, I can lose everything. But the knowledge of how I gain that will get it back. And that's the attributes you need to start looking for in men, ladies. I tell you time and time again, if you don't want to get pregnant, you don't have to get pregnant. Trust me, it's a million fucking flavors of birth control out here. If you don't want to do that, just look, you, you don't if you don't want to get pregnant, you won't get pregnant. Trust me. OK. And stop dealing with the guys that, you know, ain't ish. Seeing this poster or this post where it had straight up pookie. But Pookie dicking you down Pookie giving you He taking you to pound town And I'm not saying you can't even fuck Pookie Fuck shit out of Pookie Pookie will fuck shit out of you Pookie will give you that 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 that, that good good <laughs> You know what I'm saying But you don't gotta have Pookie baby But for some reason they keep on having Pookie's baby But the thing had one column Pookie Another thing had you know He makes $80,000 he he's an IT person. He um he's a square guy. He don't go out that much. He's a modest person. You know he goes to church. He tries to be a um, a masculine, um, upright, straight up man. You know. And his sex ain't all of that. Now he can have sex, but you know, it ain't with Pookie giving you. These women, and that's probably what this guy is. I don't know. He might be some. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna go at the messenger. Okay. But what I'm saying is, um, you you gotta women. You gotta start understanding what what's dead in front of you, cause y'all will forgo that guy, and then have Pookie's baby, and then you say, oh, all these dudes ain't ish, or have the perception that men ain't ish. And that's where we have the disconnect there. That's all I got. You guys go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Um, are these women just choosing um, broke dudes? <laughs> or do they need to start choosing intellectual guys? I'm out. Y'all stay unplugged from false narratives. Catch you on the next one.